This is China's second time collecting lunar samples, but China's sixth is to land and retrieve samples from the far side of the moon. What are some of the new challenges for this unique mission? To collect samples from the far side of the moon itself is full of technical difficulties. As I said, we need the relay satellite, and without relay satellite, the probe wouldn't be able to communicate with the ground. On top of this, we have to enhance the autonomous function of the probe in order to improve the reliability of the whole system. At the same time, we need to adapt some of our facilities to carry these international payloads, which are some changes for the equipment. Scientific payloads from the European Space Agency, the French Space Agency and Italy, and a CUBE satellite co-developed by China and Pakistan aboard the Chang'e 6 probe. How do you think the Chang'e 6 will promote the global space collaboration and communities? This time we have four international payloads aboard the probe. We're all very much looking forward to their explorations and new findings. I believe our lunar exploration project will welcome more partners, new teams to participate and achieve more results. How significant is the Chang'e 6 mission for the development of the future International Lunar Research Station, for which China will work closely with global partners. We retrieve samples from the far side of the moon, mainly to enhance our understanding of its formation and scientific discoveries on the moon. This mission will provide a lot of important references, improve the reliability of the entire system and flight control capabilities for future programs. We will continue to explore the moon and are busy preparing for the upcoming Chang'e 7 and Chang'e 8 missions. Any global friends who are interested in these lunar missions are all welcome to participate.